Hi guys. So today I'm going to show you how to do a habit tracker. I'm trying to have some self love time with the mocktail I make. I'm trying to do my August September daily habit, and he has to get right in the middle like this. Like seriously, bro. I think you should move, don't you think? Hello, thank you. Please get out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> yep, this is story of my life. Well, that didn't work out, so I'm going to move my location to here, and I'm gonna record the process because I'm turning this into something that I would really enjoy instead of a task, an obligation. I have to change first because I look really funny right now. Hi guys, some of the people I know, influencers online. They use a habit tracker on their phone, or they can buy it. But me, I like to make it on my own. The first two times, I didn't really enjoy it because I didn't nail down how to exactly do it. Again, we have to learn things through experience. Today, I didn't even put a microphone on because this is a last-minute video. I was doing it on bed, but my cat would not leave me alone. And then I thought to myself, you know what? Let me just. Show you the process of how I do it. So this is my previous one. This is the month of uh, July. Excuse me for the wrinkle my cat did to it. And you can see right here, I put reprogramming, upgrade, leveling up, open conscious. That was the week that I was sick and I was in bed for the whole week. Whenever I'm sick, it's really weird. I don't know about you guys. It seems like I have a type of clarity. Just coming through my head, for me laying in bed and just watching, diving really deep into either the self improvement world, the spiritual world, the dark side and the light side. Because I am a strong believer of toxic positivity, and we have to really acknowledge there's a light side and there's a dark side in this universe. That way, we can always stay balanced. So this was uh, the time where I felt really down, but. Whenever I recover from a sickness, I always feel like I became a different person. So I call that a reprogramming stage. I think that's it's a very good way to think about a dark time in your life where you can't do anything except taking medication and trying to wait for your flu to go away. Over here, I have 20 different habits. I only fill up to the 19. I leave one last one in case I change my mind. I have something that I want to add in at the last minute. And here are the dates, okay? Um, I didn't draw the line very straight. So you can see that I had to push the arrow to the next one. These are the habits. Usually what I put in green, I want to make it more enjoyable. It's meditation, gym, hike, yoga, dance, journaling, releasing, gratitude, mental bank. I talked about that in one of my videos. Water, drink a lot of water, detox, vitamin, juice, and then read audible, podcast, self-improvement, connect to mother nature, and then the rest are different colors. Let's say yellow one would be studying English, read out loud, Grammars and vocabulary, YouTube work, thumbnail title. I gave that separate point because it's a lot of work. Growth, edit, post, and record. 5.30 a.m. in the morning, which I find it's really hard to do. So I put in a yellow line that means something more on the must-wise, on the discipline-wise. Believe me, it's hard. It's tough. Call grandma. My grandma's in Vietnam, and sometimes I forget to call her, I try to remind myself because she's 96 and I haven't seen her in a very, very long time. I don't want to regret. So I put that and then work, side hustle, <laughs> decorate, cook and bake. I put in pink. I like to look at that as a, something that is more bringing the vibrant into your life. Pink is a very self-love, a love color. So I want to label it at that. The same with beauty care, teeth, hair, skin, face. Last one would be purple, cold shower, eye shower. I know I put that into separate one because if I can do a cold shower and then I can do an eye shower on the same day, I give myself two thumbs up for that. Keep clean and deep clean. 
you know that's the work that you don't really want to do but you should be doing because it help elevate your mood better after there's blue too which is create content keep nose there's orange which is manifest the color of fire so it's something that i want to lit a fire on it Mel Robbins uh, coaching program, homework and live video. It's kind of like, I should feel fire about it. Feed the feral cats outdoor, water the plants indoor and outdoor. So that's also fire activity. I think something that motivate me, I guess, right? Motivation, vision board. So there's time in the morning where I stare at my vision board while listening to motivation. I don't care if it's five minutes. 10 minutes, 2 minutes, but I try to do that every single morning when I wake up. Okay, so that's about it. I'm going to record myself during this process. The reason why I'm in my gym clothes, because I only have literally 30 minutes before I have to head to the gym and do body pump, which is a very hard exercise for Tuesday night, but can't be lazy. So this is how, you know, I just get plain sheet of paper and I try to fold it into as many fold as possible. And this is August to September, beginning of August, beginning of September. So I put already put 20 habits right here. I'm gonna finish the rest and I'll show you. Before we start, I'd like to introduce you to my mocktail. I'm out of monk mode. I start drinking again, but it just really doesn't serve my body. Literally, when I drink my portals open, it's easier for me to get anxiety, thoughts that are not mine, I don't really like it. And the PMDD week, which is the week before my period, my hormones really crazy. I can't drink that week. I can't drink during the full moon. I'm not sure what gotten into me at time and it's not pretty. So the only time I would drink is one weekend out of the whole month. I would allow myself to drink. And in the meantime, I create a lot of different mocktails. I just created this one today. There's a grapes and coconut. This is the type of coconut that import from Vietnam and it's very soft. Let me find a video and I can show you. It's really good. It's very unique. It's not like the typical coconut that you see over here. And then there are some peanut for the soda. Um, I'll take a picture of a brand that I use and here I am going to enjoy my drink while create my new habit tracker for this month. It doesn't have to be perfect. Remember, progress over perfection. <laughs> and I just basically put line in between of the numbers because you know what happened when I don't? I climb the gate. <laughs> Definitely not perfect at all. Wow, that was really ugly, <laughs> even with the ruler. Oh wow. Definitely not the prettiest, but we'll get the job done. You know, to be honest, I think the point of doing it myself is because I will get myself into that excitement. It's something that I create. So the first few times that I did this, I did not enjoy it. I'm like, oh, I have to do this again. Every month, should I just buy the one that pre-made? But then I learned to romanticize it. I'm like, why don't I make this time? Like how I would sit down and do my vision board. So why can I treat this the same? And I get to do it every month. Yeah, so it's all about a mindset shift. Okay. It is done and I'm about to fill in the dates and the habits. So, first one is always meditate. I like to do it from an order of morning activities until nighttime. So in meditate, I could manifest one of the day, okay? Or I could do just audio, just music by itself. Last is affirmation. So let's say if I have a day that I am actually doing more than one, I would give myself two check on that day. Okay. So second is cold shower and eye shower. 
Third one is gym hike run yoga dance. Again, I give myself more checks if I finish more of one of the activity. The fourth one is journaling, releasing, and gratitude. So why do I put this in different category? Because not every day you are releasing your emotion, and not every day you be writing out your gratitude. You could just be recording how your day is, and if you are doing all three, make sure you give yourself credit. These are the much needed work for all your healing and awareness to continue going. Cheers. Beauty care, which include teeth. I said if I'm feeling extra and whitening my teeth, hair. If I take care of my hair, recoloring my hair, skin care, and face, which is what I'm pretty much been doing every day. Next one will be Mel Robin projects, launch, homework, and live video. I'm going to be honest. Not every day that I would do all four. So I like to at least create a space where I can give myself more credit than less. Detox, which is the drink that I make in the morning, has ginger, lemon, honey, and warm water. Vitamin. I'm taking at least three, four different type of vitamins right now, and it helps with my anxiety, ADHD a lot. Juice, mm, not enough, but whatever habit that you want to do, you want to write down so you can try to achieve it because you see it in front of your face every day. Next one would be feed feral cats, mental bank, and happening. I briefly explained about this in one of my video, but I think I got a few thumbs down because people don't believe in it. But seriously, it's um, a stage of before you go to sleep, you would get yourself into manifesting money, making the money that from your mental bank. If you're interested, I will be making a video about that. Number ten, read. Audible podcast. Yeah, I give myself credit for listening to all this self improvement. Number eleven, studying English. My writing should be better, but I'm in such a rush right now because I'm afraid I'll be late for the gym. Read out loud. So when you are studying another language, it really helps if you read out loud. I know it's easier to read in our mind, but it's an effort to read out loud, and it definitely will help you with the long run vocabulary. Whew, that's bad writing, but okay, I'm not going to judge myself. Next thing is connecting to Mother Nature. This is very important. It's mindfulness. I'm going to add mindfulness in here too. Habit like high fiving yourself, high fiving your heart. Whatever you think that's under more mindfulness. Next one would be YouTube work, thumbnail, title, YouTube growth. That means I spend time and watch how to grow the channel, edit, post, and record. Because it's a lot of work, so I give myself a lot of space for this. Next one is create content and keynotes. So come up with keynote randomly. During the day, wait. <laughs> What am I doing? I have a space right here. Oh well. Um, going to leave that for later. Number fifteen is motivation. Five thirty a.m. Vision board. Number sixteen. Keep clean. Deep clean. I know what I should do. I will put organize here. Yeah, perfect. Number seventeen, call grandma and check up with a friend. Cook, bake, pack food, decorate. If you see what I did to this corner, I try to change my environment because I get bored of doing the same thing, seeing the same thing all the time. Talk about ADHD. Nineteen, <laughs> work, hustling. 
you see, because my purpose is not really focusing on work, it's just something that I can make extra money. That's why I didn't put it as in something very important. I even highlighted in pink. That means it's something that I just do because you know more on the passion thing, not purpose. Number twenty, we're going to leave that because something always come up last minute. The hard part is over. Now I'm gonna enjoy a little bit of my drink. Mm. Mm. This coconut, I swear to you guys, I haven't had it in 20 years in Vietnam, okay? So it's very different. It's super soft. It's not coconut rice. I will find a picture to show you. Hopefully I can even find a video that I cut it out before it looks totally different not anything that you have seen before because it's from more of the tropical country unless any of you guys are from the tropical countries mm. it tastes like potatoes but definitely more creamy yeah that's probably the closest to the way I would explain it so now I'm going to highlight all my activities in color and I will be back and I am finished I'm going to put the mark into the fourth since I didn't do it yet whatever you do you guys be honest with yourself okay so I did meditate I manifest a little bit I did not take any cold shower and eye shower I hit the gym I journal release gratitude I did just one beauty care mm, did I watch any of Mel's video yeah I did mm, detox vitamin no I did not detox okay water feed cats mental bang yes I did it read yes I read I listened to self-improvement did I study English um, yeah but I did not Read out loud, and it's just more learning new words. So, connect to Mother Nature. Did I do that? Mindfulness, I did. YouTube work, yes. Organize, motivation. That was this morning. I did not do that yesterday. I cooked, though. I cooked, and did I check up with a friend? yeah so that's about it oh i did look at my vision board so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 so i would put on top 22 activities maximum i did last month was 32 and then after that i went downhill now the point of okay, let me turn the camera around so you don't have to keep looking at this the point of doing this is not just to remind yourself every day or try to always be on top of the game but it's more about consistency when you watch the days that you fall behind you will try to figure out why and how is this pattern keep on going this is how i figure out that during my pmdd the week before my period i cannot perform as good as I would like to so I would learn to take it easy on those days so within the last month the last two weeks I already record the video for those weeks so I don't have to fall into forcing myself I can allow myself to have that week of more on the relaxing take it easy so this is how you get yourself back on track because you saw the week that I was sick right obviously I want to get back on track as fast as possible if it's hanging in front of me which is where I put right under my vision board I see it every day I can't be lazy I can't ignore the fact that I have to keep up with myself and stay in the competition with myself so I hope you guys enjoy this video it was definitely weird and last minute but I genuinely believe that it helped me 
and it would help you too. If you have any question, please don't hesitate to leave it in the comment section. If you like what I share, don't forget to support my channel by liking, subscribing, sharing for those in need. And I'm running late for the gym. I'll see you in the next video. Love you. Bye-bye.